Welcome back. This is part three of the dinette area update. Part one, we put new legs on the table. Part two is we took that outlet there and relocated things around to this other side of the dinette divider. And part three is we're getting rid of this lighting. So if you recall, a lot of these are those little center push buttons uh, that we have at the top of the dinette. And they're just a flat LED, as you can see here. Uh, two wires off the back. The black is the positive. And you can see that as well on the circuit board where they mounted it. Um, and we're going to replace it with something nice. I was looking for a pendant fixture. Uh, but what I found was this here. This is a 12-volt LED uh, bulb style. So it has this filament style bulb. Uh, it's still in the plastic container here and has an individual on off switch and this will mount nice right up here as a replacement it's going to be nice and high so it will be still above our playing area but hopefully give us nice light it's not a pendant so we won't have to worry about it when we're traveling and it has the individual on off so if we just want the one light or if we want to put both of them on. We found this on Amazon. I can post a link down in the bottom, but the, the uh, shade comes off as it threads on here. Has a very conventional style bracket, just like a home you know, box where it has the adjustment. So this will cover that hole that's already up there. And then it has the larger envelope that will mount there which will also help cover the oversized hole that they had in the ceiling. Uh, we'll be thoughtful about it where we put the switches. Maybe we'll have them both facing out so you can reach them easily over the dining table. And then same with the back on here. There is a seam. Very hard to see, but there is a seam in the pattern. We'll face that again towards the outside. So... Uh, that's what we have. I think I got each of the lights. I got a two-pack on Amazon. They are 12 to 24 volt DC application. They come with the bulb. They come with all the mounting hardware, uh, screws, nuts, and uh, wire nuts as well. But we don't need those. We're just going to be clipping it right into those connectors, uh, which will make this a pretty clean install. All right, let's get started. Okay, well that was pretty quick and easy. Sorry, it's a little hot in here. I got the fan on. It's like 90 degrees right now. So what we did is we took off these puck lights that had the press button in the middle. And we replaced them. Simple, pretty easy to do. And there we go. We've got them on. So let's show you a little bit up close here. So what we did is, uh, if you saw in the hyperlapse, probably went pretty fast, but we took the old fixtures off and then we carefully used the mounting hardware just to get everything aligned, marked it with a Sharpie so we knew where to pre-drill, and then we pre-drilled the holes. Uh, those electrical connectors, nice and easy to work with in order to get the... Uh, power hooked up and then we just fasten it up to the bracket you can see the screw there on the side and the on off switch and then each bulb is one of those filament bulbs it probably won't show up too well but puts out a nice light and we have individual switch control without having to have a wall switch so overall i'm very happy with it and here's just a general view then of the of the light from out back here. So it's a warm white 
uh, temperature bulb. Uh, 3,000 on that scale of whiteness. All right, so as I said, uh, really simple to do. Uh, only a few bucks. Nice and sturdy fixture. It's mounted real nice and tight. And, you know, I think we're going to enjoy this a lot better than the puck lights uh, as we use the new dining area. So that's it for the modifications right now. Uh, we go camping again in just two weeks. Uh, so we'll try these things out and I'm sure we'll come up with something else to work on. But uh, thanks for watching. And again, there will be a link in the, in the bottom for the Amazon lights so you can pick them up if you're interested. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment as well, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. All right, see you.